Hey guys, did you know that iOS 18 has a built-in software feature that will help you determine if you're actually charging your iPhone at the fastest speeds possible and if you're actually using the correct charger for your iPhone. Yes, iOS 18 now has a new feature built into the battery section that will help you determine if you're charging your iPhone as fast as possible. Now, let me show you how easy it is to take advantage of this new feature within iOS 18. Now, obviously I have two chargers sitting here on my desk. I have a five watt, these are both Apple chargers. So I have the five watt USB-A Apple charger and I also have the 20 watt Apple charger USB-C as you see right there. Now the first one I'm going to go ahead and test is the five watt. Now keep in mind that the iPhone 15 Pro Max that you see on my desk is capable of up to 27 watts of fast charging. So let's go ahead and plug this in the five watt charger first. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in, here we go and take a look at that we're now charging at five watt speeds now keep in mind that you may want to wait at least 30 to 40 seconds until your iphone can determine if the charge is optimal for your device using this specific charger so let's jump into settings here now you want to jump into the battery section and here in the battery section you may see yellow so if you see anything yellow happening here in the battery section it means that your iphone is charging slow now as i mentioned you need to leave it about i don't know 30 seconds or so and then jump back into settings go into the battery section and wait to see if you see that slow charger prompt so it still hasn't kicked in the iphone has not recognized rather is fast or slow charger so we're going to give it a few seconds here and then we're going to jump right back into settings to see what the actual options are or the actual settings look like so still still waiting here for the iphone to determine if we're charging at optimum speeds it's been about 30 seconds now so let's go ahead and wait another 10 seconds or so and we'll jump back into that battery section and you may see a slow charging option appear or a slow charging prompt appear in the battery section of your device if you're using a slow charger and yes there it is so it took about i don't know 20 to 40 seconds to determine if this iphone was actually charging at its optimum speed or if it was charging slow as you see there's slow charger so that means that at this point i'm using a slow charger so that means i need to replace it so if you buy a charger that claims to be fast but you see this yellow on the charging meter it means you're actually charging your device slower than you could be charging your device so now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing but we're going to be using the actual 20 watt charger so let's jump into the settings of this iPhone. Let's make sure we're not charging, obviously. So let's go here and take a look at that. There it is, we're not charging. So now we're going to try the 20 watt charger here. So this is also compatible with MagSafe chargers. So if you buy a Qi2 compatible wireless charger, but you see those yellows on it, the actual meter, it means you actually have a slow wireless charger. So just keep in mind that this also works with MagSafe. So if you have the MagSafe and the Qi2 compatible MagSafe, then you shouldn't see those yellows on the charging meter. Keep that in mind. If you do, it means your MagSafe is a slow one. You may want to replace it as well. This one is the Apple Authentic. So this one can charge up to 15 watts of wireless charging. So let's jump into settings here. Let's go into the battery section now with the 20 watt and take a look at those charges. So right there you see that we're not getting the slow prompt. So the optimal charging on this device would be anything from 20 watts or higher. I've noticed that anything that's 10 or lower, you'll see those yellows appear on the charging meters for your device. So if you ever see this yellow on your device when charging your device, you can go ahead and check your charger right now and see if you have any of those yellows on the charging meters. If you do, determine which charger you were using at that time and replace it because that means you're not charging your device at the fastest speed possible. And yes, iOS 18 makes this possible. I think it's a great feature for users when they go to buy a fast wireless charger or a fast charger in general your software can actually determine if you're actually charging at the correct speeds thank you for watching this quick update i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys on the next one peace